think the thing is with the heritage engineering skills that they are so niche uh, and they're so specialist. The mechanic or modern technician will tend to plug and play, diagnose, take it off and fix a new part. So a heritage vehicle, and I'd say anything that's uh, sort of 1980 before that, you know, fuel injection carburettors really, where you would open the bonnet and you'd say, oh, I can have a look at this, I can fix it, I can, um, I can actually uh, tune that carburettor, that type of thing. Um, that's, that's where your sort of definition comes in. We'll teach them how we was taught back in the 50s and 60s and some of the guys before then and those skills are definitely dying out and we need to pass all of that on and these youngsters that are coming through now through what they're getting at Heritage are really learning their trade well. So my days can vary, um, I've just finished servicing a car which is a fairly comprehensive undertaking. College obviously we get there on Monday um, and it'll be like a theory, theory based day Monday or Tuesday. The rest of the week we'll be in the workshop sort of applying what we learn like the theory side of it onto live vehicles and like doing actual jobs to sort of apply the theory practically. I kind of emphasise how important that is because we obviously still have a business to run and we have apprentices and they work one-on-one -on -one with our mechanics but it's very expensive to stop what you're doing to show them everything all the time. They do learn from what we do and we do, do set them tasks, but when they go off for their week, uh, sorry, we have them for five weeks and if the sixth week they go away to Heritage at Bista for a one-on-one -on -one in the classroom and in the workshops, it's fantastic for them. They're really getting what they really need and then they can come back to us and show us what they've learned and we all kind of bounce off each other and I think it's a fantastic system, I really do. Employers have said, well, we'd like to have some business element, how to run the business, how to do the P&L, how to do the cash forecast. Well, that's got nothing to do with heritage, but, but our apprentices will be business leaders of the future. Really heartwarming to see the youngsters really wanting to understand and know what these cars are all about. I'm pretty proudest achievement has just been looking back where I started and then where I am now. My proudest moment for me was being able to fully strip and rebuild a gearbox and it actually all worked the first time. That was quite an impressive feat for me I believe. Um, definitely something to, to be proud of.